Hi, I'm Jerry. Can you guess where we are? We're at a real live race car garage. A lot different than the one your mom and dad has at the house or where they take their car to get it fixed. So much neat stuff happening behind me. So much going on and it's so clean here. You can practically eat off the floor. Today, we're going to build a race car. We're going to take all the pieces of the puzzle and put it together to form what we call a rocket ship on wheels. We're going to start out by bending large pieces of metal. Then we're going to grind. Then we're going to paint, make the car nice and clean and slick and safe. And then we're going to build an engine to put in this car that will go 200 miles per hour. That means that engine will take this car the length of a football field or a soccer field just like that every second. I just like the drivers and crew members, I've got my safety suit on. So let's get started. Come along. You may not believe it, but the race car starts right here. All these different sizes of round and square metal tubes. Now these are the bones of the race car, just like the bones in your arm or your leg. You may not see them when the car is finished, but they're the strongest part of the car, providing all that strength for everything else. Now to build these bones, first we've got to take these pieces and cut them and shape them to build the race car. We're going to use a round saw, a very sharp round saw. Before I even turn the saw on, remember, got my gloves on here, got my helmet, just like what you wear on your bicycle, show people you're smart because you're safe. Okay, now, my mask is down, the saw is on, my hands are away with gloves. Well, we've got our first bone cut, now let's go shape it and build a race car. Okay, here's the part I cut. It's still straight, but we're gonna have the experts bend it. That's why Fast Eddie is here. Now, he's in charge of this race shop. Now, Eddie's gonna bend this straight piece of pipe with this machine using all kinds of force, like a lot of elephants are just pushing on it. Now, when he gets it finished, it'll look like this. So come on, let's start building a race car. Next, the tubes are welded together. Welding means taking two pieces of metal and putting them together as one. How do you do that? Well, behind me, that's what he's doing. You melt one end of the tube, making the metal all soft and gooey. Then you melt another end of another tube, making it soft and gooey. You push them together, and when that metal dries, you have a welded, new formed piece of tube, as strong as if it had never been cut. Now, when you get all this welded together, you attach it to the frame, one of these big pieces of metal we cut earlier. And this little cage here is called the roll cage. The driver sits inside. We'll put a seat in later on. But it's called the roll cage because if this car were to roll over, it'll protect the driver. Therefore, he'll be safe inside. Now, what do you cover a cage with? What do you cover the bones of the skeleton? Well, skin. Let's go find the metal skin of the race car. The metal skin of the race car is constructed using paper-like sheets of metal that have different thicknesses and lengths. But they are cut to specific lengths by a machine behind me called a shear. Now, this is a flat part right here that might be used possibly if cut properly to cover the top of that roll cage. That's the roof or even the top of the engine compartment. That's the hood. But the most important part of the race car is the smooth fender. And that's what Tim is doing right here. Now, Tim is a body specialist. It's his job to bend this straight piece into a nice round curved piece that will be the fender of the race car. The smoother he makes that curve, the sleeker the car is. And the sleeker the car is, the faster it'll go. And that's the idea of a race car, to go fast. Now once Tim gets finished with this piece right here, we'll begin taking his piece, my straight piece, we'll begin tapping them all together, piece by piece, and hanging them over the skeleton of the car. That's called hanging the body. Suddenly, our skin takes shape. Boy, the pieces of the puzzle are really coming together now. Here are the tubes inside that Fast Eddie helped us bend to form the steel skeleton of the car. Now, they've been covered with this metal skin. Boy, what a job they did cutting and bending this part. And look at this fender that Tim made. Boy, what a wonderful job making this so smooth and round so the car would be fast. Now, the outside of the car is almost done. we still got to paint it, put some decals to make it look pretty, but a lot of work yet to be done on the inside, like put the seat in for the driver and the steering wheel and all the gauges and wiring, which we'll show you a little bit later on. Before we can go racing and rubbing, we got to have an important part under the hood, and that's called the engine. That's the muscle of this car. So let's go watch them build our motor. Now this is the engine room. This is where our engine is being assembled. Everyone who works here has one goal in mind, to build a faster, more powerful engine for our race car. Now you gotta understand, these engines are not built inside the race car themselves. Our car actually is being built way across in the other end of the shop. 
These engines are built here, put on a little stand where they can be rolled from person to person, everyone having their own individual job to give us a more powerful engine. But where does it all start? Well, it all starts right here with this big chunk of metal called the block. Now, the block looks pretty ugly, doesn't it? It doesn't do a whole lot. You have to add a lot of parts and a lot of pieces to make this block into a powerful engine. That's what everyone has to do here. Now, they use computers to grind and polish and measure to build hundreds of moving parts to take this old ugly block to this beautiful, sleek racing engine right here. Now this baby has about three times the horsepower, the muscle of the motor in your mom and dad's car. But where does the muscle come from? Let me show you. Inside this engine, there are eight of these pistons that go up and down, just like your legs on a bicycle. The faster you pump, the faster you go. Well, the faster these pistons move, the faster our engine goes. And that's the whole idea between horsepower and muscle. Well, this engine here, when it's completed, this one it's almost is, gets tested in a different part of the shop. They run it wide open, makes lots of noise, and it's really neat to make sure the, car, the engine is race ready. Now, the engine's almost ready, but how about our car? Is our car ready? I hope so. I want to race. Come on, let's go. Before we continue building the race car, let's take a moment and show you some of the special tools the mechanics use to build our car. This is my favorite part. I love working with the tools. There's so many good things here. Look at this neat grinder. This is a, a rough edge on the outside and it spins around and helps grind down that metal and polishes the metal and make it nice and smooth. These grinders are used a lot in building the outside or metal skin of our car. And of course, these look like scissors, like the kind your mom has at home to cut fabric. They're actually called tin snips. They help snip some of that metal sheet on the outside of the car to make sure the edges aren't real sharp. They're nice and smooth and rough so you can grind them down using that grinder I showed you a moment ago. And of course, screwdrivers. Small screwdrivers to put in small screws. And then big screwdrivers to put in big screws. And there's more, even more tools here in the shop. Let's take a look. Here's a toolbox just full of all kinds of great tools. Let's open one of these drawers and take a look here. Look at all these wrenches in here. Now this is a, called a combination wrench because it has a combination of an open end and a closed end. And they come in all different sizes. For example, here's a three quarter inch combination. And these wrenches are used for either tightening or loosening a screw or a nut on the race car. They have larger wrenches for bigger screws. And if you can't find the right combination there, then you have an adjustable wrench. You can open or close the end of that wrench. A small crescent, or look at this big boy, a big old adjustable crescent. That's gotta be fun to work with, but wait, my favorite tool is yet to come. Come along. Hammers, look at all these hammers here. I love hammers. I mean, they got all different sizes and shapes. Here's a small sledgehammer, big old heavy hammer for pounding heavy objects. And of course, there's these funny shaped hammers at the end. These are for actually 
shaping the body of the car. The outside metal, you tap along with that pointed edge. And of course, there's even a rubber hammer. This rubber is so that when you pound metal, it doesn't scratch it. You know, if you like hammers and tools as much as I do, you're gonna love this. Where's our car? Well, they are getting ready to paint it. Hey, have you ever helped your mom or dad paint around the house? First, you've got to sand and smooth out what it is you're going to paint. Then you have to mix your paint so that it's the correct color you want the car to be. After it is the proper color, you have to pour it into a can so it can be sprayed on the car. Then they put paper on parts of the car to cover it up so the paint goes just where it's supposed to go. Here it goes. They're painting our car. When the paint is done, it's time to put on the decal. The stickers, you know what they are. Like every step in putting the car together, even the decals are put on with great care to make it perfect. Very cool! Our car is looking good and almost ready to race and hopefully take the checkered flag and win. Doing all this work to get the car ready to race can be greasy, grimy, and fun. Check this out.
looks like we're almost done. They put our windshield in our race car and they may have finished the inside of our car. So let's take a look, come on. Well, look at all the stuff in here. There's nothing in here that's really very similar to what you may see in your mom and dad's car with the possible exception of this simple rear view mirror here, which we gotta have, that's for safety. But take a look up front. All these gauges, now we'll be watching these gauges here on the dash all during the race to make sure we know exactly what the water temperature is or the oil temperature or the oil pressure and to make sure we don't run out of fuel or gas. Now over here are the switches to turn the car on and off. We can flip these during the race if you want to stop or you want to stop the car or start the car before the race. Look at this steering wheel here. Padded steering wheel on the outside with a big pad in the middle in case you bump against it. If you stop in a hurry, you won't get hurt. There's a shifter, switching gears, coming up through the gears. First, second, third, fourth gear. We gotta get faster and faster. But most importantly, look at this special seat with these special seat belts all around it. This seat is molded for the driver. Only one seat in this car because only one driver. It's around the top of the helmet here to protect his head, around the shoulders and around the ribs as well as the legs. Everything in this car is built for speed and for safety. And one final point, remember those bars, those tubes we bent at the very beginning? Here they are. Here's that skeleton of the, of the car surrounded by padding to protect the driver in case this roll cage were to roll over with the car. Well, looks like we're almost done, so let's take a look at our finished race car. Well, she's all done, it isn't she beautiful? Boy, we've had such a great time touring the race shop, building our own race car together. This car looks just like a winner, just like you. So only one thing left to do, let's go racing, come on.